Hello and welcome back to the channel. I just got back from a month long of travel, seeing family, seeing some friends, and traveling to new countries like France and Canada. And this time I only traveled with a carry-on and a backpack to make it simple and easy. And when I was looking at my gear, there were some items that I can't do without. They just make my travel experience a whole lot more pleasant. And I promise you in this YouTube channel, whenever I find something to be useful, helpful, something that's gonna help you adventure travel more, or easier, I'm going to be sharing it with you. I'm going to be leaving links in the description box to every single piece of gear so that you can purchase them if you choose to. No extra cost if you use the links that I have in the description box, but I will make a commission. So thank you in advance if you choose to use my links. So we'll start first of all with my hiking boots. These are the Solomon Women's X Ultra for mid Gore-Tex to be specific. I initially bought these hiking boots to use them to climb Mount Kilimanjaro, which I did and I had a great time hiking in these boots multiple days at a time i had no problems with blisters they were extremely comfortable but then after climbing mount kilimanjaro i found them to be extremely comfortable that i started just wearing them when i go on city tours i'm just traveling to a new city they are great for walking especially if you have a busy agenda throughout the day they are extremely comfortable and i also like the color the the black and the salmon like color make it very stylish the second item on my list is my REI backpack 40 liters. This is also a backpack that I bought for Mount Kilimanjaro specifically because 20 liters backpack was not enough. So I got this one 40 liters. It was very comfortable. It's designed for hiking in a way that it's got a section for your water bladder and it's got some outer mesh and things like that. But I started using it right now primarily for traveling. I just love how comfortable it is on my backpack and also it's got a lot of pockets and the fact that the zipper goes all the way and you can open the entire bag especially when you are going through security check in the airports which I always get checked because I usually have lenses and camera gear and I get questions so it's always easy for me to open the bag all the way and then close it easily with no problem I love this backpack I highly recommend it next on my list is the sea to summit collapsible day pack this is a piece of gear that I fell in love with and I've been using it for the past three years I would say this is a collapsible day pack and usually I just use a carabiner and I hook it to my backpack and the reason why I love using this one is usually if I'm tra traveling to my destination I get to my destination I have my big backpack and I want to get outside and explore but I don't want to take my big backpack I can use this small collapsible day pack it's 20 liters which can fit a lot of things if you want to take it on a short hike and just throw in probably um, a rain jacket or you want to throw in a bottle of water or if you are just going to a city to, to tour the city that's going to be a good option next on the list is this piece of gear this is REI neck pocket and I usually use this one when I'm traveling internationally it would have my passport my vaccine card and my money some money or credit debit cards sim cards anything that is valuable and that i want to make sure that it stays with me at all times so i would usually wear it around my neck and i also like the fact that it's got a liner the outer liner right here that makes it on tight depth so no one can scan your passport debit or credit card which is important my money clip or cards holder as i like to call it so this is what i usually would use to store all of my cards so this would uh, take care of my credit cards debit cards my id my passport card so all of them would go in here you can see right here that i have a bunch of them and it also goes inside of my neck pocket so that it's secure i can also put in some money right here you know two pieces of metal that connect to each other with a strap next is a power brick this one is from anchor it's very powerful i also bought this one for mount kilimanjaro because when we were climbing the mountain you would spend seven days on the mountain and you don't have access to electricity and the reason why having a portable charger when you're traveling is of course you don't want to be in a situation where you can't charge your phone or you can't charge your camera gear if you are a content creator so this one is super powerful for seven days on the mountain i was able to use it every single day i think its power is twenty thousand mil amper if I'm not wrong but I will uh, write more specifics here in the video I would usually use it to charge my camera charge my phone my GoPro next my Bose canceling headphones 
these are super helpful especially when you are on a long flight if you're traveling for eight hours or 13 hours my flight from istanbul to san francisco was 13 hours and if you are in a busy flight with a lot of people sometimes kids are crying or babies are crying and you want to isolate yourself from all of that noise canceling headphones can come in handy next one is my camera strap from peak design which is actually attached to the camera right now uh, but this is a neck strap that I like to use when I am traveling and I have my camera on me so sometimes I like to clip the camera to my backpack especially when I am on the trail which takes me to the next item that I'm going to talk about in a little bit here but the neck strap is uh, something that I use usually when I am uh, in the city I like to just have the camera around my neck to to take videos or photos and sometimes with video content creation it helps me to stabilize some of my shots which is also helpful and then the next item is my peak design camera clip this is a clip that you would attach to your backpack and it's helpful to attach the camera to this way you have easy access to your camera especially when you are on the trail I find it to be super helpful so these are some of my favorite items I can't see myself traveling without them let me know in a comment what's your favorite piece of gear and if you use any of the items that I mentioned in the video, let me know in a comment what do you love about them the most. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video to be useful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. My name is Habiba from The Trekking Pals, and I will see you soon on a new adventure.